best friend here, Clint Arthur. Hello, everybody. This is Clint Arthur, and welcome to a super special celebrity superstar webinar featuring a host of celebrity magic messengers on tonight's special event, including Sandy Masori who just appeared on the Today Show one week ago, including internet marketing superstar Alex Mandozian talking about his local TV appearances. Including fantastic Frank Johnson, the world's first and only differently able motivational speaker and author. Including Dr. Kim Duramo and Dr. Mario Torres Leon talking about their multiple national television appearances and Dr. Mario's invitation to become a regular recurring guest on one of America's top Spanish language morning television news and talk show programs. Including Magic Messenger Superstar Hal Yo Pal Elrod. who has recently been invited to host a one-hour national television show at Mojo Studios. With special appearances by Shanna Landolf, a Canadian magic messenger who is tearing it up in the United States on television. Jim Kerwan, a graduate of Celebrity Launchpad 1, who's now begun his second round of television publicity. And Dr. Ida Green, who recently made her first television appearance in San Diego, which she booked herself off a cold call. many, many, many other special guests tonight, including Linda Cobb. We'd love to see Linda Cobb's appearance on national television. I heard she was great. Oh yes, I will also be talking about my own personal debut appearance on the Today Show. That's right, the number one television show in America. I will be talking about what it took to get there, what it was like there, and how you should be there and could be there this year.
start with the wetsuit. So the, the shark repelling wetsuit, if you want. This is one of my favorite things. This is we have the surf lady model all the way from Hawaii, and it actually repels sharks. See the bands on the, the legs? It right. resembles the banded sea snake, which sharks are afraid of because it's one of the most venomous snakes in the sea. And apparently, a shark doesn't need to see a lot. Just, just know, just the movement of that band in black and white, and they know that that's the, that's the one thing that will take them out. Come on, they're away. You know, they think they're going to get killed by that snake. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Yeah, coming to you live from the scene of the crime. <laughs> New York City, baby. That's right. We got everything we talked about. Could, could everybody hear me okay, right? Did everybody hear that introduction? Is everybody excited about tonight's webinar? Oh, yeah. Yeah, awesome. In addition to that, I'm going to talk about uh, what it was like to meet Brooke Shields and Anderson Cooper and Jane Lynch. I even met Carson Daly. I didn't get a photo with Carson Daly, but I did meet Carson Daly. I was like, why didn't I get that photo? Oh, my God. I was like, what was I thinking not getting that photo? <laughs> Let's see. Give you a little photographic evidence of what's in store for you guys today. Here is the actual photo still on the actual camera that took the actual photo of. This was a selfie I took of me and Brooke Shields on the Today Show. How's that? <laughs> uh, here is the selfie I took of me and... The other anchor from the Today Show, Willie. Okay, here's the selfie I took of me and Jane Lynch. And like the other people in the green room were like, oh my God, did you just get a photo with Jane Lynch? You're fearless. Okay, here's me and Jane Lynch. All right, and here is the piece de resistance. I mean, we weren't even going to go to Times Square in New York City. But we decided to go to Times Square in New York City. And that is exactly the place where I was able to take this selfie of me and Kathy Griffin. She's a pretty good one. And then me and the number one journalist on the planet Earth. The top guy in the entire news business. What a nice guy. What a super nice guy. Man, did he work hard that night. And what a great honor it was to meet and get this photo with Anderson Cooper. Wow. So that's what's in store for you today. Uh, before we get into our first appearance, which is going to be with our number one magic messenger right now, Number one Magic Messenger student would be Sandy Masori right now. She debuted on the Today Show on the day before Christmas, and we're gonna be up. We're gonna be up with her in a second. Okay, uh, I want to talk to you about this whole process and what this is all about. I started out this program in October of 2011. That's when I started teaching people how to get on TV, and at that point, I had made, I had made like. 20, I made like 25 appearances myself at that point. And my concept, it was just a concept, was that, hey man, this is the United States of freaking America. You got to work your way up. And you can work your way up. You start out sweeping floors in the mailroom and you work your way up to become a top agent at Creative Artist Agency. Or you start out as a local community organizer. And you put in your dues, pay your dues and put in your time and you work your way up to bigger and bigger jobs like the United States Senate and then you become Barack Obama, the President of the United States. That's the way this works in the United States. And I had the concept 
that that was what was possible in television as well. And since that day, in October of 2011, my one of my very, very, very first students, Veronica Gray, you saw her on the beginning credits of this webinar, she booked herself on, the t on Good Morning America. She did 38 television appearances and her 39th one was Good Morning America. And that was the first evidence of proof of that the concept works. Now we have a second proof of concept, which was the one and only balloon girl, Sandy Missouri. Yes, my sweet darling, Sandy Missouri, who did what I told her to do. She smiled and dialed and spoke to one person at the Today Show. One. Got an assistant on the phone, pitched the assistant, 20 minutes later got booked. Well, 20 minutes later got the first email from the producer who ended up booking her. And I helped her with that process, and we'll talk about that in her interview today. But that was the second proof of concept. So, you know, first, one time you're lucky. Second time, it's real, right? Okay. Then, here's the second and perhaps the most important concept of this entire webinar tonight. And that is the importance of showing up. You have to show up in life. If you don't show up, you cannot win. And, you know, I, that's something that I've been espousing for a while, okay? And when Sandy got booked on the Today Show, I was in, in uh, Orlando with Dr. Kim and Dr. Mario and Dr. Samantha on an amazing titanium mastermind golf expedition and mastermind. Oh, my God. It was amazing. We were having a lot of fun. However, I had a terrible cough. And it was a cold that I had. It, it, it stuck with me for more than two weeks. And, you know, it was December in New York City. And I was thinking, I cannot go to New York City from Florida. I don't have the clothes. I'm sick as a dog. I'm not going to go. And I originally told Sandy, I'm not going to New York. I'm sick as a dog and I don't have the cold, uh, the cold weather clothing. And then I checked the weather and it was going to be in the upper 60s and 70 degrees in New York City on the day of her appearance. And I talked to Allie about it and decided, you know what? I got to show up. I got to show up. And I told Sandy, all right, I'm coming up to New York and I'm going to go with you and coach you on the Today Show. And by the way, let's take a look at like evidence that I was actually there coaching her on the Today Show. This is the craziest part. This was I don't actually count this as a television appearance, although, you know, one could argue that there I was, look at, look at me, standing there in the background of the Today Show. Can you see that? Let me see here. Uh, preview. Can you see that? There I am, standing right there. Can everybody see that? Yes? Good. So... I mean, I, I kind of like did a photo bomb on that. I was just standing by, super cool, wearing these exact clothes. Uh, no, I was wearing a different dark blue suit with the same shirt and tie. I was just standing by uh, shooting behind the scenes video. You can see in my left hand, I'm holding my, my, my uh, iPhone in its orange case. And I was shooting the behind the scenes video of that appearance. And I was like, holy cow, I think I'm going to be on camera. <laughs> and sure I was. Yep, I there I was. I just happened to get there. All right. So that was like my first appearance. And so I, I went to that and, and then I took her out to lunch and we had a great time. We'll talk more about her appearance. And then I went, flew back to San Diego because I wanted to do um, – I wanted to do some health, you know, I, I had gained some weight, I wanted, I was sick, I couldn't get rid of the cold, I went to the Optimal Health Institute and went on a raw vegan juice fast and diet for the remainder of that week and I woke up at 7 a.m. and you know how I always tell you, you got to answer your phone, right? Well, I didn't answer my phone but this was the voicemail message that I had on my phone at 7 a.m. Let's see here. 
There it is. Everybody listen up. Here it comes. Hi, Clint. My name is Allie. I'm calling from the Today Show at NBC. Um, I'm wondering if you're available to join us on the 31st, so it's the morning of New Year's Eve, for a live segment um, where we're going to give viewers advice going into the new year. I can be reached at 347. That was the voicemail message. Did everybody hear that voicemail message? <laughs> yes? Can I get some yeses in the chat, please? Yes? Yes. Okay, that was the voicemail message. I got that voicemail at on December 26th at 10... Uh, let's see. It was 7.08 a.m. 7.08 a.m. I got that voicemail message from the producer at the Today Show who booked me. That was... What's the day? It was like a Thursday or a Friday. Let's see here. What was December 26th? Everything has to be factual. It was a Thursday. And yeah, I know. I It was 7.06 in the morning. I woke up at 7.11. I played the message. I woke up Allie. I was like, holy cow, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? What is that? What should I do? I didn't have any coffee. I was on a no caffeine. Like the whole thing was raw vegan juice fast at that point. I hadn't had a cup of coffee in three days. And I called her back at 7-Eleven. Said, hi, this is Clint Arthur returning your call. She goes, oh, wow. Thanks for getting back to me so fast. Yeah. So um, we're wondering, are, are you going to be, she goes, we're wondering, are you going to be in New York City on New Year's Eve? Okay, now this is a lesson that I learned from, some, from Sandy. You never tell them that you're happy to make a special trip. No, 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 no. You always tell them you're going to be there. You're already planning on being there. We had to uh, work with Sandy. We're going to talk about that more with Sandy directly. But she asked me, are you going to be in New York City on New Year's Eve? I said, yes, I am. I had no plans to be in New York City on New Year's Eve. None. I had no plans to be in New York City on New Year's Eve. I was booked into the Optimal Health Institute. I was still supposed to be there until um, Sunday of this week. But I said, yes, I'm going to be in New York City. She said, oh, wonderful. Uh, well, we'd like to have you on to talk about how to um, deal with the push and pull in life. I said, oh, really? That's awesome. And, you know, they were very casual about it. But basically, when a producer from the Today Show calls you, you're pretty much booked on the Today Show. If they're reaching out to you, if you if you can get them to give you an actual date, you are booked on the Today Show. And that's exactly what happened. And we came here and uh, all the rest is now very well documented history on Facebook. <laughs> so with that introduction, the bottom line of it all is that you got to show up. You absolutely must show up. You cannot win if you don't show up. You never know what's going to happen. You cannot get the unexpected opportunities that are going to come your way as a celebrity unless you show up. You must show up. If I had not shown up in New York, I, I'm still not exactly sure how it all transpired that I got booked by this, by this girl, Allie, from the Today Show. She did say that someone else named Amanda, who's, you know, the same first name as Sandy's booker, uh, recommended me. I never spoke to, to, to that woman. I don't know, you know, I, she basically just saw me looking like I should be on TV in this photo. Go back to this photo. Basically... I showed up looking like I should be on TV. I handled myself well in the studio. And next thing you know, that's me on the Today Show being interviewed by Brooke Shields. <laughs> so that's how it goes. We'll have more of that now. Later on in this webinar, I'm going to talk about some more stuff. But the bottom line is, guys, you got to show up on these webinars. You got to show up at Celebrity Launchpad. You got to show up at your training. You got to show up every chance you get if you want to break in on television and into the big time and really build your celebrity using TV. You've got to show up.
That's the bottom line. So with that as an introduction, I want to I want to bring on somebody who really knows how to show up. She has become a great friend of mine and she has also become an inspiration of mine and a collaborator and uh, just a super amazing person. And her name is none other than Sandy Masori. Sandy, are you unmuted and can you come on video please? Hey. Hey, let me mute. Okay, there we go. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How are you doing today? How are you feeling? Oh, well, um, all right. Except for my computer keeps freezing, which is why I've stolen my son's computer at the moment. But other than that, good. Awesome. I need a um, plug for the phone. Let's charge the phone. It's one of the last Uh, Tell us, Sandy. What what was the let's just start with like your general impression now that you've like had a week to decompress after your experience on the Today Show. Uh, what's well, your what's your number one piece of advice for people? Um, just, just do it, just do it, and when Clint sees your ass, listen to him. Yeah, let's talk about like how is it that you got motivated to actually make the calls, and do it, because, like, you were focusing on that book of yours, which was so important. Yeah, which, uh, which came out yesterday. A week overdue, but it came out. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, you know, and you, you yelled at me. And, uh, and, and you said, you know, what was your exact quote, right? It was, who am I? Who what, what do I know? Who am I? I'm just a guy who thinks that Sandy Missouri would be good on the Today Show. And I thought, well, gosh, if he really thinks so, then he's probably right, and I guess I better do this. Yeah. So I, I put everything else on hold, and uh, and I started, you know, making those calls. Well... And, uh, I, start, I started... Um, by trying to make some local calls. I, and I'm still, you know, stuck at cold calling. We'll talk about that story later. But um, but uh, I was getting discouraged, and I thought, well, this is dumb. I, you know, I'm getting discouraged. I may as well, while I've still got my, my mojo, I, I should just, you know, go for the prize. And uh, I got the runaround um, until, until you suggested, uh, you gave me a name and, and told me that I should talk to the assistant. And... Uh, and, and so I called, and I asked to talk to the assistant, and I got through to the assistant, and I told her, I said, I don't know who to send this to. You know, here's what I've done. I, was, I, I did two, um, two segments for Marine Chamiano at daytime, and here's my, my segment. Um, where should I direct it? And she said, oh, just send it to me, and I'll forward it along. And I thought, oh, you know, she's blowing me off. But uh, I sent it to her, and she forwarded it on, and 20 minutes later... I got the email, are you ever in New York? To which I said, no, but I can come. Wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't hear anything back after that. So, um, so then on your, on your suggestion, I sent back another email later on saying, good news, as it happens, I am going to be in New York, and these are the dates. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so that began the... Uh, the email chain. And she wrote yeah. back, that is great news. The only day we can we have available for taping is December 23rd. Can you make that? And right. you said, yes, I'd be happy to. Right. Okay, that's how it happened. And and then then there was another like a little exchange and like you sent her an email which I had not dictated and which right. I had yeah. not approved <laughs> and then we didn't hear back right. from her again after that, right? Right. Yeah. Right. And then I was out to dinner. Remember I mentioned in the uh, in the introductory remarks to this webinar, I mentioned that I was out on a on a mastermind titanium group with doctors Kim and Mario and Dr. Samantha. And we went out to dinner with one of the producers from Mojo Studios and he suggested to me, Oh, you should definitely have Sandy send her another email saying, Please confirm that date and that we are still doing this. And, cause, because right. I still haven't heard from you. And 
that's exactly what I told you to do, and that's what you did, and she immediately wrote back, yes, yes, we're definitely doing it, and here's the person you need to talk to, and thank God we had that dinner with Jack, and he made that whole suggestion, so it takes yes, a village. Yes. <laughs> it, it does, and thank, and, and thank Jack, definitely on that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely something that you it was crazy. It was crazy. I think you sent me that email at like 11 at night or 2 in the morning or something like that. And I had given up at that point. I, w I would not have sent another email because I was worried, oh, I'm being a pest. You know, I've sent over and over and over and over and I'm being a pest. And when you sent me that email, I said, okay, well, I, you know, I'm going to word it. I just copied and pasted basically what you said and, um, and sent it and it worked. Okay, so there's very important lessons here for every magic messenger, and the first lesson is. I do a quick test. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's right. You know, I, I am not by nature somebody who just does what people tell me. So, by, by nature, when somebody says do this, my automatic response is yes. Yes, 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 whatever is to go the opposite way. So, yeah, it was a, that was definitely a hard lesson for me. Hey, man, if you got a coach who knows what they're doing, like I do, do what I tell you to do. The closer you stick to what I tell you to do, the better the results you're going to get. I have a magic power at this stuff, as we have so seen. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, it, it really, it, it, look, I, I'm not saying that because I'm egotistical. I'm, I'm the most in awe of what is going on here because I, I don't think I've ever had results in anything in my life the way I've been having with this training program and this process of working with my friends and clients and colleagues and all of whom become my friends like you have. And, uh, you know, thank God that you have found a way to overcome your natural instinct to be a rebel and instead have been smart and have followed my instructions and done what I've told you to do. So that's great. Yeah. Number, number two is don't take anything personally. If you don't hear from these people, you know, you come, people graduate out of Celebrity Launchpad and they send out one or two emails and then they give up. That's bullshit. That's weak. That's lame. Do ne never give up on this stuff. As Tomisa Leiden said in her numerous appearances, on television, to quote the great Winston Churchill, never, never, never give up. <laughs> Isn't that right, Tamisa? <laughs> okay, good. All right, so that's good. And then the third thing is, and this is a really key thing, okay? This is so super key. The world of television is like a little club. It's a very small club. And if you're in the club, I don't care if you're a page. Like, what about that little page girl at NBC? Don't you think she knows a lot of people? Remember that little page girl who brought us to the, to the, um, to the green room? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, I saw her again there on December 31st. And I'm like, so nice to see you again. She goes, oh, really? I'm like, I know you see a lot of people here. She goes, yeah, I see a lot of people here. You know, she, right. she's, she's young, but she's rubbing elbows. And you have to be nice to everybody because you never yeah. know who is going to be the person who's going to make it happen for you. And in this case, we saw that just a person's assistant. Now, I, I told you a, a high-powered person to call and to ask for their assistant, but the person's assistant was enough to get you onto the show. Yeah. And right. um, Adrian, if you wouldn't mind... Uh, the video is only for the people who are being interviewed at the time. Thank you very much. So, you know, never, ever, ever undervalue or underestimate the potential that even a person like an assistant or a production assistant, anybody could hook you up. I remember when I made my breakthrough, like, look, in my training program, I teach you how to get around the assignment editors. When you call up the newsroom, I say the last person you want to talk to is the assignment editor. You have to be rude to them in my special way that I train you to do, which is like a secret backhanded way of being rude. I teach you how to be rude to them so that you can get past them. And however, with that said, 
my first breakthrough into the San Diego market onto Leslie Marcus's show. And as we all know, Leslie Marcus is the producer of the number one morning show in San Diego. And uh, she takes only the best, the only the cream of the crop magic messengers onto her show. Uh, she's had me on her show eight times. And the first time I got there, because I went to the trouble of pitching the assignment editor. And he goes, oh, well, listen, do yourself a favor. Call back at like 1030. You got to talk to Leslie about this. But I think she's going to like it. So you never know who's going to get you through the gate and to the gatekeeper so that you can make it happen. All right. So with all of that said as preamble, let's take a look at Sandy Missouri on the Today Show. You ready for this? No way. All right. After this commercial. Uh, Page without all the stuff in between it all. Oh, yeah? Is it on sandymissouri.com? No, oh. it's on balloonexpert.com. Oh, really? Balloonexpert.com. How'd you get yeah. that? How'd you get that website? <laughs> what? Two L's. There you go. Oh, two, yeah, two L's, two L's. As seen on TV, America's top balloon expert. There she is. I think that needs to be changed to as seen on the Today Show, America's top balloon expert. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Monday, December 23rd, just two days until Christmas, which is why we're decorated like this. This is pretty unbelievable. You know what? These balloons are very, very special. They are by a woman named Sandy... Masori, and she is hard at she work hard in at there work. making hats for us. Yeah, she she's a little, and she's a little loopy. We yeah, love her. We like we, everything about her. But look at what an artist she is, though. She puts lights in them and everything. It's pretty amazing. And she's doing it very quickly. So by the end of the chat, she's going to have our hats prepared. Um, and let's hope they fit. How about that? All righty. By the way, outside, it's so funny to look at people outside. Some people are wearing, like, sweatshirts. It's, it's been very weird here. it's been here. the weirdest weather It was week. almost 70 degrees right. yesterday up in Greenwich, where we live. Anyway, last weekend, uh, you had a little crazy weekend. But let's talk away. about yours. Let's talk about mine. Okay. Uh, right before the weekend, I, uh, I just got up. All righty, Sandy. Are our hats almost done? She's been busy. Woohoo! Happy holidays! Oh, somebody's Lord. been in cheer. We got Hi. all kinds of fun stuff for you here. <laughs> Okay, I want to pause it right now, and I want to give Sandy Masori some big major props right away. Because, you know, they said, uh, you know, there's Sandy Masori, she's hard at work. And instead of just standing by and continuing to toil in, in ignominity over there, Sandy Masori is like, woohoo! Having fun! Giving energy, okay? If anybody could say one thing about Sandy Masori's performance on the Today Show, hands down. It was energy, energy, energy. It was all about energy. And let's not remember, let's not forget, what is the number one thing that I teach you at Celebrity Launchpad? What is the formula, Sandy? E equals MT squared. E equals MT squared. Now, I just wrote it down for you all. There it is. E equals MT squared. How has that worked out for you, Sandy? You're damn right they like you. They like everything about you, especially your energy. You are energy, and that's what TV is all about. Let's keep going. Okay. By the way, is that going to fit Hoda? That's this. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I did it on headbands so that it wouldn't oh, mess up your hair and so that it would fit both of you. And we see, you see we have a cute little party dot in there. Give uh, it some sparkle and some light. Have you ever done this? Just please. Have you been doing this since you were a little girl? I have been doing this for 20 years. Okay, I want to take a pause there. Sandy mentioned something in that little exchange. It was so subtle and so beautiful. She, had, she said, we have a nice little party dot. What is that, Sandy? What's a party dot? Uh, it's, a, it's a little light that is made to go either to stick on balloons or to go inside of a balloon. And it's hard to see on the video, but there's lights inside of a lot of those balloons. And so what you're saying is that that was a product... Uh, sponsorship yeah, it, plug right it was, there? It wasn't, it, it wasn't exactly a sponsorship. Uh, it's a friend of mine who, who, uh, who uh, is the United States Department of Health. Okay. And he was doing a product for them. And, you know, I mean, they cost about a dollar a piece or a dollar fifty. So, you know, what she sent me was only, you know, 
twenty, thirty dollars worth of product or something like that. Not a big deal. And then I also bought some that I had bought myself before. But the, the main reason was, I mean, you know, for her, she was ecstatic, obviously. But the main reason was because I've been trying to get a sponsor who has been giving me the runaround. And I wanted them to see that I could do it and what they could have had. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, I'm supposed to be talking to them on January 14th. Yeah, and say, look, guys, you know, uh, you, you didn't believe in me before. Well, now I've been on the Today Show. I already plugged somebody else's product on the Today Show. You missed that opportunity. You could have had it cheap before. Now I'm a much bigger name brand. So if you want to come along for the for the ride now, it's going to cost even more. I'd, yeah. I'd still like to work with you, but you know I'm working. I'm interested in working with people who believe in the long term vision of me becoming the hugest balloon artist of all time and taking a balloon manufacturer along with me for the ride. Yeah, it's um, it's actually kind of interesting what I've been getting from the industry because they don't get it. They don't get it. And I'm getting, I'm getting jealousy and I'm getting, um, I'm not, they're not seeing what I'm doing for everybody. I mean, yes, I'm promoting myself. Yes, obviously, you know, I'm running with this title that, that you and the media gave me as America's Top Balloon Expert. But um, they're not, the, I, I, you know, I mean, look at the balloons that I did on the Today Show. I am raising awareness of what our industry has to offer. And they're not getting how much I am advancing the entire industry. And it, it's making me crazy. But, you know, if they're not going to do it, then I'll, I'll eventually I'll find a, an appropriate um, partner uh, um, sponsor to do it. Yes, you will. And look, I have had many mentors and I have invested a lot of work. As I said in my appearance on the Today Show, if you want to advance your career much more rapidly, you need to invest as much money as possible as you can afford to do with a mentor. And one of my mentors is James Malinchek. And I remember when he was on uh, The Secret Millionaire and I went to his training at the secret, uh, at Big Money Speaker Boot Camp, I think it was, and he he was just fresh off the Secret Millionaire TV show at the height of his celebrity on the ABC national show, huge show, and he spent forty minutes talking about how people can only shoot arrows at your butt if they're below you on the ladder. It's the only way it can happen. They can't shoot arrows at you if they're above you. They will only shoot arrows at you because they're below you and right. there's nothing you can do with about that except know that they're shooting arrows at you because they're underneath you and that's all you can do right. on that. well yeah i mean i i know i know that it's coming from a place of jealousy sorry my 12 year old is in here trying to get his computer back um <laughs> i know the word okay out i know that it's coming from a a, a place of jealousy and you know, like, well, who, who the fuck do you think you are kind of thing? But, um, you know what? I'm the one doing it. They're not. I'm the one who's written three books. I'm the one who has a million views. I'm the one who's done 18 TV show appearances, the last of which was the Today Show. So, you know what? I, I kind of think, for you, I earned it, you know? I mean, I, yeah, for them. <laughs> hey, listen, Sandy, they're not your peers anymore. You know who your peers are? Your peers are your brothers and sisters from Celebrity Launchpad. That's right. My fellow messenger. Right? I mean, we have this community for a reason. Because home is where they understand you. Remember that quote from Celebrity Launchpad? Home is where they understand you. And yeah. they, nobody can understand what we're doing because they're not doing it. It's a lonely path out there going from TV station to TV station, from Albuquerque to Phoenix to Tucson to Vegas to San Diego to Austin, Texas to Palm Beach, Florida, Orlando, Hartford, Connecticut, Chicago, all the places that we go that nobody else is willing to pay the dues and put in the miles to do. They can't get it because they haven't paid the price. And that's why we have these weekly webinars and that's why we have Celebrity Launchpad and Soon we will have the Celebrity Guild of America as well. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I'm watching the comments. You guys rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. These are the people who can understand. 
All right, let's finish up this clip. Yes. I am so lucky. I have the best job in the world because my job is to make people happy. Oh Everybody God. loves balloons. And can I ask you a question on national television? Sure. Um, what's happening to these afterwards? You guys get to keep them. Can we? Can I send them over to Cassidy's place here in New York for the children over there that, that we take care of all year round? Well, they won't last all year. No, but... they'll, they'll, they'll be there today before holiday. Yeah, so, absolutely. Thank, thank absolutely. you. We'll, we'll get By them the over. By the way, great Sandy, job. you're oh, adorable. Sandy, thank you Here's so much. Sweetheart, my present to you. Oh, well, thank there you, you so much. <laughs> Cheers. 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 See, I do share. Did you hear me laughing? <laughs> okay, you were shopping and wrapping this weekend. We're going to get you caught up on all the Hollywood buzz. Hey, you're about to meet four incredible kids. The couple... All right. One thing, one thing that I think I did really well there, and this was this was a lesson that I really I really had to learn from you. You know, you've said it many times. Is let the camera find you. Don't don't worry about the camera. Focus on you know what you're doing. Focus on the conversation you're having, and let the camera find you. So I think I did a good job of that on that one. Yeah, you did a great a great job. You were just out there doing your thing, and being fun, and being energy, and being nice. And uh, everybody liked you, and uh, you know where where do you go from here? What you know? How does it look about your future appearances on the Today Show? What's that? How does how does it look in terms of future appearances on the Today Show? Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good that I'll be able to get another one. I, I mean, um, they they definitely left the door open, so I'm gonna have to keep it open. Both uh, both verbally when we were there, and then. And then later on, they sent me an email, you know, thanks, it was, it was great, and, uh, you know, let us know when you're in New York. Let us know when you're in New York. Gee, yeah. m imagine that. We've already got it all planned out, folks. I'm willing to bet money against anybody who wants to bet, and I highly recommend you don't bet, that Sandy Missouri is going to be on the Today Show with her balloons sometime around Easter. Okay, I'd be willing to bet money that that's going to happen. Anybody who wants to bet against me, I'm I'm putting odds on it right now, and I'm happy to take any fool's bets that want to bet against Sandy Missouri getting on today's show for Easter. Okay, so congratulations, and we we have to go on to Fantastic Frank next, but I'm going to let you say any anything else you want to say to the Magic Messengers out there well, I, who are eager I, to follow in your footsteps. Yeah, so I know I know some of you already saw this when I posted it, but I had the, I had the funniest phone call with the producer. Um, I'm going to Nashville next week, and I really want to do a TV show in Nashville just for personal reasons. And um, and so I called up the I called up NBC, figuring NBC should be an easy sell at this point, and somehow got a hold of the the producer, and I. Let me tell you, I was a disaster, okay? Stammering and, uh, er, uh, um, I mean, really a disaster. So I got the position on the phone, and I told her, Hi, um, I'm, I'm Sandy Missouri, and um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really bad at this phone stuff. But anyways, I have a segment idea for you, and I, and I just did it on the Today Show last week, and I'm going to be in Nashville next week for a conference, and I wanted to know, you know, if you were interested in me coming by and, and doing my bit. I never said what it was or what I did. She goes, yeah, we'd love to have you. What's it about? <laughs> What's it on? So that was just like the coolest thing that I got booked. And then she asked, oh, and, you know, what is the segment? <laughs> but it was good enough for the Today Show. It must be okay. Yeah, I, I pretty much figure you could get away with that on any national, uh, on any NBC television affiliate. You know, if it was right. good enough for the Today Show, it's pretty much good enough for them. Uh, actually, your own hometown, San Diego, the NBC affiliate re-ran the whole segment on their 11 o'clock news, right? That's, that's right, yeah. Uh, it's 4 o'clock, and so they, they came out and interviewed me the day before I left um, while I was setting up a job. They came out and interviewed me, and they played that interview on the 4 o'clock and 11 o'clock news that, uh, that day, which was a Saturday. And then um, on Monday, on the midday, on the midday news, um, they post they they posted you know again the interview and the entire clip from uh, the Today Show. Well, so it was uh, it, it was it was good it was it was fun. I love I loved your quote. What was that that you What was your quote that you made up? Oh, that if you do enough that if you do enough TV uh, or if you do enough uh, news shows, you become the news. 
Nice. Something like that. I mean, the, the whole story was about me. Um, instead of me getting the segment or supplying them content, which was, it was, it was weird. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> if you do enough news, you become the news. Yeah, you do enough news, you become the news. And, and my client, who I was setting up for that day, was thrilled. You know, she was so excited that the news was coming out to interview her balloon artist while I was setting up the party. And um, and now she just um, booked me for another event uh, Saturday, actually. And she's like, oh, yeah, the whole family, we watched it. The kids got a big kick out of it. It was, it was fun. Oh, they're going to be a major client of yours forever, kid. I mean, geez. Yeah, and, and it's, um, you know, it's one of my Rancho Santa Fe family, so it's the... Uh, all of her friends are, you know, exactly the secret percent demographic that I target. Beautiful. Well, congratulations and much success to Magic thank Messenger you. superstar and, Sandy Missouri. And and thank you. I mean, really, couldn't, I'm not exaggerating when I say that I could not possibly have done it without you. I mean, even even running lines with me and and forcing me to go over what I was going to say in the green room, even when I didn't want to, but planning. You know, if they don't bite at this, you should say that. I mean, really, in detail, um, I think it made such a difference. Thank you. So, thank you. It was, it, I'm so glad, I'm so glad about everything. And I'm so grateful that I have a student like you who really went for it and continues to go for it. And you're going to get much more than you ever dreamed out of all this. Well, my, one of my goals for 2014 is besides reappearing on the Today Show, I would like at least five other major daytime shows. So, and and the the pinnacle would be if that I could actually, you know, convert Ellen to have a balloon person on her show. But if I can't, you know, if I could do uh, the talk and the view and Rachel Ray and Wendy and Latifa, you know, Latifa and, and those. That is my goal for 2014. Hey, let me ask you this. We got to talk about this before I let you go. Uh, before I enrolled you into Celebrity Launchpad, for I, I, I've been trying to get you to do TV for two years, right? Two years, yeah. Okay. Did you think any of this was going to be possible for you? No. I mean, and, and not, only, not only did I not think this was going to happen two years ago. I, I mean, you know, this has all happened only in three months. I, I mean... The, 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 the last quarter of 2013 was just unbelievable for me. I wasn't going to come. I, I mentioned this on the, on the last webinar, that as I was getting into my car, I almost canceled because I was tired. It was a long drive. You know, there were things going on that I had to do here, and I almost didn't come. And my husband was telling me, oh, well, you're not going to get what you think you want. You, you know, you're not going to get what you think you are from it. And, um, and even as I was there, Sitting in the room, looking at the amazing, I mean, I know that you've had great classes, and I, and I think that all of your messages are amazing, but I think that my class was especially amazing, if I do say so. I mean, you know, Hal, Hal is, getting, um, is getting an hour, uh, an hour hosting thing, and, uh, you, you know, I mean, everybody's doing amazing things. Mario's going to reappear, and... I mean, I, I was with the most amazing people I've ever met, and I'm sitting there in that, on that first day going, they're going to look at me and, like, why is this person even here? I mean, I was feeling so, like, out of place, and do I, you know, like, almost even how dare I? And, and look, three months later, you know? And I, I mean, wow. <laughs> and that's the final lesson of this whole thing out of this Sandy Missouri segment is that it, the natural tendency that we all have is I'm not good enough. My stuff is not as good as everybody else is. My stuff isn't ready. I'm not ready. Who am I to think that I should be a celebrity on television? Who am I? And you got to get over that voice and you got to say, you know what? Damn it. I'm, I'm afraid, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm, I have to do this now because you know what? This could be the last year of my life. And if I don't do it now, when am I going to ever give it a shot? And I don't want to find myself laying in the gutter feeling like I didn't give it at least a shot. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm, I'm so glad that you know, 
I mean, hey, I'm so glad that the helium thing came up because that was what originally drove me to it. Even though nobody, not a single producer, has taken the segment that I really wanted to pitch. Um, but I'm glad that it happened because that pushed me into it. And then I'm, I'm glad that you pushed me to finish the website and make the calls. Because if you hadn't, it, it still wouldn't be done. Yep. And I, well, I probably would be sitting where I'm sitting right now, but I wouldn't have been sitting here after having been to the space show. <laughs> That's exactly right. And pretty soon I'm going to release the behind-the-scenes video from that great day. And that's going to be a special presentation all on its own. Sandy Missouri behind the scenes at the freaking Today Show. So keep your eyes posted for that one. And uh, Sandy, thanks so much for everything and continued enormous success Thank in you. 2014. I need to go and I'll, I'll rejoin again in an hour after my other follow over. All right, awesome. Thank you, Sandy. We're going to go right now to fantastic Frank Johnson. And after Frank, we're going to go to Alex Mendozian. Frank, I'm going to suggest that instead of doing your regular broadcast of your radio show, I'm going to suggest that you use this as the basis of your radio show until we're done with this segment. And then you can go into the radio show and continue it on as soon as we're done with you. I hope that works out for you. Uh, and Shanna, yes, I do want to get to your two clips. So I want to ask Fantastic Frank to come on video right now. Um, all right, all right. We got Fantastic Frank on video and audio. Happy New Year, Frank. Happy New Year to you, Frank. How are you doing tonight? Bad I had a feeling. <laughs> uh, just give yourself your introduction that I that I promised you that that you that I made you promise to memorize before you came to Celebrity Launchpad as part of my guarantee that if you came to Celebrity Launchpad, I would get you booked on at least two ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, or CW News and talk shows. I hope this is the right page. Hi, I am Fantastic Frank. 33 years ago, I was trapped in a fire, carried out in a body bag, and today I'm here to inspire millions. You did memorize your introduction. Unlike certain other celebrity wannabes who come to, to Magic, to come to Celebrity Launchpad and don't do what I tell them to do. Can you believe, Frank, that anybody would come to Celebrity Launchpad and not do what I tell them to do? Can you believe that? Yes, I, I can believe it because I haven't done everything that you want me to do either. Hey, you did a I, lot that I told you to do. You, you memorized your opening, which I said was very important. You got the props that I told you to get, and you brought them with you. You I wore did. your superhero costume. I did. Okay, you did a lot of stuff. However, I am not calling up, calling, I'm not dialing it up the NBC Today show yet. Oh, well, you know. I, have to, I want Sandy, when I saw her, to coach me, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, look, you got more inside information than, you know, uh, 350 million other people in the United States have right now. So, Clint, do you want to review this yeah. clip that came out? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go on this clip. Now, tell us what we're going to be looking at here, Frank. Okay. Well, what happened was I was booked out in Chicago to do a show that it wasn't a live thing. Karen Mayer, who is differently able, she has a speech problem. That is, she is deaf. I think she is deaf is what happened. And so she took me into a room and she edited this. And this is going to be the first time I've ever seen this. Really? Yes. Because it, it came out on the 22nd. I just paid to have it downloaded to my web. Okay, awesome. So basically, just to you know, fill in everybody on the little details, Fantastic Frank came to Celebrity Launchpad back in July, I think it was. And, in July. Yeah. And uh, one of the producers there was uh, a producer from ABC Chicago, whose show has since been canceled. And one of the, he loved Fantastic Frank so much that he passed Fantastic Frank's information on to this other person who has her own show, Karen Meyer. And Karen Meyer 
uh, is a differently abled person, and uh, and and here we are. You know, um, this is his segment from ABC Chicago. Let's let's watch. He was trapped in a fire, carried out in a body bag, but survived. Now, Frank Johnson, he, while he suffered in a traumatic brain injury, Eyewitness News reporter Karen Meyer explains that he turned his life-changing experiences into a career. Your dreams are out of reach. That is a limiting belief. Look at me. I'm on TV. I was trapped in a fire 33 years ago. I was carried out in a body bag and I recovered on the way to a hospital. A medic inserted a trach tube damaging my voice box. And that's my double-edged sword. He saved my life. Frank Johnson, known as Fantastic Friend, sees himself as a superhero character. I collected comic books. and never dawned on me to become branded as Fantastic Frank until... I was on a coaching call with my mentor, Frank Gazarowski, over seven or eight years ago, and he was talking about branding. And I punched through the chapter. I said, hey, I'm fantastic, Frank. Prior to becoming disabled, I tried to go back to work, but because of the way my brain had been how can I say it? I had been fried. I had been damaged because I had almost died from carbon monoxide poisoning. They they couldn't put me back in my chain job. Frank travels the country speaking to people with disabilities about thinking positively. He also wrote from flawed to fantastic. How I turn my disability into an asset. You have a power within you that you have no idea what it is until you get put to a test. And when you get tested, you usually have to either give up on your goals or dreams or you push forward. And so that's my message. Kim Meyer, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. And if you're interested in learning more about Fantastic Frank and his book, just go to our website, abc7chicago.com, click more, and then disability issues. That's what I'm talking about. Fantastic Frank in the number three market in the United States on ABC Chicago. Yeah. Now, I did do the pitch, but she edited it out because I think the first thing was the first thing you are supposed to think about yourself as being disabled. And they hung out, they did that at the end. And that should have been first. They, they cut and Hey man, it doesn't always go the way we write it. Like most of the time, it goes straight down the segment proposal and it comes out exactly the way we planned it. But sometimes they do it their own way. For example, with Sandy Masori, her pitch was how to decorate your New Year's Eve party with balloons for under 50 bucks. Well, they weren't they couldn't do New Year's Eve because they weren't going to be taping on New Year's Eve. They had pre-taped all the shows for those days. So instead of doing that, they had her do a Christmas theme. So you got to just roll with it. That's all. I did. Thank you. Thank you, Clark. Hey, man, I think uh, you I did a great job. You. Okay, I have to ask you, when is my stint out in L.A. going to be? I don't know, man. I've been texting her, and I haven't heard back, but I'm going to... Keep texting her. Okay, thank you, Clint, because after you do that, you've got to put together my sizzle reel for me. I agree, man, 100%. As soon as we get that L.A. one. But the beauty of it is is that it's up, it's evergreen. So hopefully we'll find out soon when it's going to be. Okay, thank you, Clint. Hey, man, i got to ask you something. Talk to the yeah. people because so far, you know, most of the people go and do live shots of their segments. You have now done two taped segments. And, you know, how do you feel about the difference between doing live versus taped television appearances? Well, the live ones, they, 
they really, you really have to be on your game. The tape runs, you can screw it up and they will edit it, but it might not come out the way that you want to. So I'm just saying, if you do have to do both, you should be prepared to do both. You should be on your game all the time, as I was when I was out in Chicago, but the, trying to deal with the, the person Karen was a problem because she couldn't, she had to have a woman in the, or in the studio conveying to her what I was saying. That's basically what happened. And I, I'm not trying to put her down. I'm just saying that you have to be able to be flexible to go with the flow. Yeah, you have to be flexible and go with the flow. These are words of wisdom from Fantastic Frank. And now, any general words of wisdom that you might have for people who are still aspiring to get on television or who haven't been taking action yet or who haven't attended Celebrity Launchpad yet, what do you have to say to those people, Frank? Well, you are missing a boat if you want to be a celebrity like me or like any of Clint's other outstanding clients or students. Because you have to take a chance. You have to go out there and give it a shot. And one shot won't do it. You have to do it again and again and again. I've been on how many different stations right now? Nine or ten? Yeah, I think so. I think I've been on ten different shows. Right now, I was... I can't remember what I was out, I was out I was running around like crazy in October, wasn't I? Yeah, you did a lot of appearances. I did, I did the floor in October. And I can't remember how many I did, but I loved every minute of it. And so you've got to be able to follow through. Now, my, my biggest problem or challenge is I don't know what to do next. Am I supposed to be dialing for the Today Show or something like a dialing for Oprah? Well, uh, have you done uh, Daytime yet with Maureen Famiano? No, I haven't. Okay, well, I think you need to do that. And I think, you, have you done uh, Emotional Mojo with, with Jack? I think. Orlando? Have you been to Orlando? I don't Orlando. I don't think I did that one. Okay, so look, I think you got to smile and dial for those two. And send them, you know, what do you think your best live segment was where they did the segment proposal. Uh, Fox Connecticut, that was a good one, right? I, I, Fox Connecticut was at the best one. Okay, so I want you to take that clip from Fox Connecticut and the one from Fox uh, from ABC Chicago and send an email to Maureen and an email to Jack and say, hey, I met you at Celebrity Launchpad back in July. I've done 10 appearances since then. I would love to work with you in 2014. Uh, I, I, I'm available to come down to um, Florida anytime you want to have me on the show. Okay, could you email me their email addresses? You have, yeah, Al, Ali will send it, but you've got them all. You know, they're on your okay. list. and uh, But Ali will send you a copy of it right now anyway. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Frank. You're an inspiration to everybody, man. And I want to say, why is Frank so compelling on video? Because he's 100% present in the moment. He is 100% present in the moment. You gave me a great testimonial, too, which is on my website. Did you see it? I haven't seen it, but I remember recording it, so I'm, I'm not surprised that you like it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to put together my own... We, uh, I'm working with Tracy Repchuk. You know who she is. I do. And Tracy Repchuk wants to be able... To put me together with a different with a different signature message, which she is crafting right now with Marvelous Miss Jones. And one of the things in there is going to be your testimonial. Awesome, man. I'm honored to have it on your stuff, man. You're an inspiration to everyone, including me and everybody else who meets you. So please keep up the work. Thank you, Clint. God bless you. Have a great night. God bless you too, man. Thank you very much for being on here. Good night, fantastic Frank. We're going to we're going to move on. Yeah! That's the way you got to finish every time. Yes. 
Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Every time you got to finish like that. Everybody loves you. So now we're going to move on to Alex Mendozi. And Alex, let me put you, let me unmute you. Can can you talk up, Alex? Are you there? I am. Can you hear me? Can you yeah. Hear me? Internet marketing superstar, Alex Mendozian, in the house, on the webinar. Thank you. What an honor to have you on my webinar, sir. Well, it's an honor to have you. You're my mentor. I overpaid for your training, and here we are. I usually have a conflict during this night doing my own events, so it's, oh, it's fun to be here. Hold on a second. We've got to clarify something. You just said you overpaid for my training. That's not like... Could you just explain that a little bit, please? Because it came out wrong, I think. <laughs> no, it came, it came out right. It just didn't have any context, which is a complete nightmare on television. Um, I, I paid $500 more than you asked me uh, for your training. Yeah, and, and he did that because of the value proposition that I offered him and also because he wanted me to tell everyone that you know, Alex Mendozian thought this training was so worthwhile that he actually paid $500 after uh, above the list price of the training. So thank you for that. And there is your continued free advertising for your $500 investment. <laughs> All right. So um, uh, you've been out there on TV. Let's see. Had, had you ever done any TV before you came to Celebrity Launchpad? Never. Um, my... First of all, I'm going to say I paid more than what you asked next time, so overpay doesn't take, get out of context, so mm -hmm. thank you for that lesson. There you go. And what I learned from um, the training and from, um, uh, I have my balloons here, you know, we're going to do webinars with <laughs> your previous guest, she knows who she is, I didn't know she was on the Today Show, now we can't, uh, you know, call her up and, and, and but um, what I learned from television is you got two to four minutes and track about 30 seconds for you know, introductions and 15 seconds for outros and you don't have that much time. So what I've done is I decided to have a few appearances and try to get as many logos as I can of the major networks. So Fox, ABC, NBC, I still have CBS to go. And I only have um, three appearances. I have two more scheduled and um, I'm hoping to do 10 uh, in 2014, but I haven't gone high frequency but what I've been doing is I've been doing a lot of this. If you can see this, I've been doing parlay marketing. What does that mean? And parlay marketing is having lots of props, just like I'm doing right now. <laughs> now, parlay marketing is I got four minutes, so I go up and they ask me about Google Hangouts, which is my topic. And I teach people how to get more exposure through partnering with Google and YouTube and I've had the privilege to be on stage with Sir Richard Branson and His Holiness the Dalai Lama and others, but that's not why I'm there. I tell them the reason I'm there is to teach the little guy and gal to create their own television show using Google and this new format called Google Hangouts. And all you need is a webcam, I tell them, and I talk about the Logitech high-definition webcam, um, and I call up Logitech and I ask for sponsorship. I call up Apple and I show the iPhone I want sponsorship. I show the iPad. I have a cordless map a sponsorship. So I use parlaying means you just stack what you have as assets. And what I've been using, I've gotten into, um, I think you saw it, and I'm going to get you there. Is that now I'm going to start writing for Forbes magazine because of two TV appearances, and one was a total dog. One, one was I was playing with my hands, and I was in Las Vegas, and I didn't, I didn't realize what I was doing, and then I tied my hands up for my second appearance, and that was a little better. And my third one, which, which I just showed you, I think was the best, and I just keep using it again and again and again and again. And, um, I'm parlaying all of that so that I can get sponsorship and um, get on other forms of media. So I'm, I'm using low frequency and high impact. Okay, well, number one, I love that you have taken the, the training, basically the formula, and have really applied it. To everything that you're doing. The use of props is enormous. The use of costumes, you know, uh, and, and I, I also want to thank you because you have 
inspired me to create a, the, the new Alex Mendozian rule at Celebrity Launchpad, which is all men must now attend Celebrity Launchpad wearing a jacket and tie. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's part of the costume that conveys authority. So if you don't have your own superhero costume like Fantastic Frank, then if you're a man, it, then you should be wearing a jacket and tie to convey authority. But you're, you're really doing great. I agree. Now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I agree. Yeah, I'm doing great. Um, I agree 100. percent You you need props. I wear like a handkerchief in my pocket. I wear a tie, and I've gotten um, I wear different jackets and different ties so that when I have the sizzle reel, when I have enough appearances, it looks like you know I'm wearing different stuff. And so it's coming out pretty well. I always get a compliment from the host and all my students. I have a lot of students, and I'm blessed with students. They say, "I've never seen you in a in a jacket and tie before. You look great." So it's even a prop for them. It's great. Oh, wonderful. Love it. Uh, I, I would suggest, I, I'd, I'd appreciate if you would give me the clip, the link to your most recent clip so that we can review that because I don't have that handy and I'm, I wasn't able to find it. Do you have that to put in the chat for me? Or is it on your media page yeah, somewhere? Sure. Um, I'll put it in there. It's um, uh, reply to alex.com forward slash TV2. Oh, sorry, TV2, not TV3. Okay. I put it in the chat. Fly to alex.com forward slash tv2. It's a right. ring link. We'll pull that up. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. KOB. Oh, so lovely. Done, uh, yeah, it was great. It, it was fun. She was awesome. It was about four minutes. And um, you know, each session, each segment gets better and better. So I just take notes like you taught me. And um, I go over my little book that I have one note per page, which is a great idea. And... Uh, I decided for this one to show up with my um, uh, Clint Arthur pink tie. I see and that. Th the funny thing is I forgot my shoes. I, for I forgot my good shoes. So I was wearing tennis shoes, and I told them not to shoot, you know, from the, from the cuffs down. But, you know, they did. So I was very comfortable, but I didn't have any dress shoes on. All right. Well, I guess you haven't seen American Hustle yet, huh? No. Okay, because there's a big line in American Hustle. It all has to be from the feet up. <laughs> yeah. When you're out there trying to put a con over them, you got to go from the feet up. So, you know, we got to really instill this. But let's take a look, everybody, at Alex Mendozian on his third television appearance on KOB, the NBC affiliate in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and our good friend over there, Christina Westbrook. How would you like to earn more money and gain more time? Yeah, I think most of us would, right? Well, my next guest says that he can make it happen. Joining me now is the Warren Buffett of the Internet, Alex Mandosian, <laughs> right? The Warren Buffett of the Internet? Well, that's what they call me. I just got back from Johannesburg, South Africa, and Perth, Australia. Here we are in Albuquerque. Yes, I'm so glad you made the trip over here. Thank you. Um, so let's get to it. Let's talk making money at home. This isn't like a tiny few bucks here and there. It's like an, a salary. Okay. Can we just talk about the legs on that girl? This is the second clip I've seen of that girl. And her legs are like a major distraction, huh? Well, I'm glad she, um, it was her because it took away from my tennis shoes. So I was very happy that she was there. Um, one, one thing I wanted to point out just for people watching, because I'm not a TV guy, but parlay marketing is like using what you got. I had come from South Africa and from Australia about a month and a half before. <laughs> So I, I, I mentioned Johannesburg, and I mentioned Perth, and then I mentioned Albuquerque. So it's like all in the same sentence. And then in my intro, um, I put down the Warren Buffett of um, uh, Internet Marketing. And so she's saying that, not me. And uh, one of my students called me that one time, and I just said, acknowledged as, because it's true. So you can do a lot of stuff like that within the first 10 seconds. All of a sudden, you know, they're saying, you know, who is this guy? And... You know, people don't know me, but that intro, I found that I'm using again and again and again because it really does get their attention since it gives them the situational awareness. Right? Very, very nice. And that's a great point to point out. Uh, I talked about this with Lisa Decker, another magic messenger, and I was like, look, uh, no, it wasn't Lisa Decker. It was um, uh, um, Linda Cobb. I said, look, Linda, all I want each, like when you go to Albuquerque, all I want them to say is this part of your sizzle reel. Like, if all we get for your sizzle reel is them to say one sentence that we're trying to get from your story or your positioning as the top expert in your field, 
that we're crafting for you. That's all we need. And if we can get you six different appearances where each in each appearance, a different news anchor says a certain portion of your expert positioning statement, man, that's gold. That's what we're looking for. This yeah. way we got we got uh, authority conveying your expertise or we got you saying your positioning statements on network appearances. That's what we're working for. If you can just get a little piece from each one, if you stack them all together, you end up with a dynamite sizzle reel. Great point, Alex. Yeah, here's a here's a prop. Media stacking is exactly what you're saying. I have a I have a, um, a Google Hangout show, and so I'm stacking that media with television. I'm sending you students. You know, I'm going to help promote for you uh, next month. As you know, I couldn't promote for this particular show because um, I had some stuff already in the queue, but I know I'm going to send you a bunch of students because they're seeing my success. With me, is they think you know because I'm experienced. I'm I've been in front of crowds of yeah. ten thousand or ten or you know three thousand or or a hundred. You know they think that I have more experience. TV's totally and completely different. And I remember how many times you were pissed at me for not getting um, you know the pitch right at the celebrity uh, event with everyone because um, the um, you know I, I was more. that people have if you don't have any experience you're better off and you're more um you know believable and you don't come off as slick so i don't know maybe that's where the tennis shoes came in but uh, that that stacking piece is incredibly important all i'm thinking about is what the sizzle reel is going to look like that's all i'm thinking about just making that sizzle reel when you showed me the one with lisa you know sasovich i had dinner with you the night before our mastermind that's all i'm thinking about is what's that sizzle reel going to look like because i'm doing this to get speed uh, Paid speaking gigs, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna. I want to use this to to make money, not on television or not to get calls, because I'm not getting any phone calls from it. I'm using it as credibility to do it somewhere else, and that's where I think a lot of people in my tribe get it wrong. They think they're gonna make money on TV. Use television as a credibility booster so that you make money elsewhere, and that's what I would say to anyone watching right now. That. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is about creating the perception that you are a celebrity expert at what you're doing that you are in a completely different league from all your competitors. They can't even touch you. You you look at Sandy Missouri, all of her other friends in the balloon expert are in the balloon expert industry are pissed at her because she's now leaped so far ahead of them and above them in the pecking order because of this perception of celebrity that she's created for herself. And really, that's what it's all about. It's not about somebody calling you up and saying, I saw you on TV. Although when you get to the bigger shows, they will. It's not about uh, getting you know tons of opt-ins, although Tracy Repchuk got 871 opt-ins off her one appearance in Chicago. Uh, it, you know That stuff can come down the line after you've done enough appearances. But what it's really about is creating marketing assets, free marketing videos produced by ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and CW News and talk show producers so that you know, you've got all of this credibility and positioning and media assets for your uh, media kit and for your celebrity perception barrage that you're putting over on your clients and target market. So let's continue to look at this clip now. It is. You know, at the turn of the 21st century, Google was organizing the world with the search engine. And now as we go into 2013, 2014, uh, they are engaging the world mm -hmm. with Google Hangouts. It's very okay. informal and it just uses a webcam and an internet connection, and it's easy as can be. That's we it. teach people how to make money with it. Nice. Okay, so explain really the Google Hangouts. Like, what are they? I think a lot of people may be not you know, familiar. Okay, so a Hangout is where people are just hanging out on video, <laughs> and they're connected. Now, some people compare it to Skype, okay. but it's a lot more powerful. You have the most powerful website on Earth, Google, and it's doing a joint venture with the second most powerful website, YouTube, <laughs> and together they're a dynamic duo and you just need a, a webcam, you know, on your That's computer. Right. I mean, this is a Logitech high def, but you don't need high definition. Okay. And then you can do it with your iPhone or smartphone. Right. We can do it from the side of the road. We have soccer moms doing it from mm -hmm. the sides of the freeway. And you just need a topic, okay. and we have people doing it from home. Okay, so get into it. So, so when you get your webcam going, you get your cell phone, how are you making money hanging out, you know, online with each other? Okay, I want to stop here for a second. Uh, I love your haircut. It looks great. I love the suit and tie. 
Uh, you'll notice I'm not wearing a pocket square. I didn't wear a pocket square on today's show. I am now anti-pocket square. I find it to be a distraction. The only pop of color should be the neon colored, shiny, solid colored, no pattern tie. That's it for men. Okay, so I wanted to point that out for you. And then the second thing I wanted to point out is going back to our previous little exchange, and that is, look, you know, you, to, to me and to everybody on this webinar, you are, you are undoubtedly a superstar in our industry, and we know who you are. But to the producers who come to my training, pro, to my training program, to Celebrity Launchpad, to hear my students and to watch them pitch and to consider them for, for being on their show. To the producers who are auditioning you at Celebrity Launchpad, they don't know who you are. They don't know who Lisa Sasevich is. They don't know who A.G. Morishta is. They don't know who Tracy Repchuk is. They don't know who uh, 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 Davin Michaels is. You know, these are all giant names in our industry who've all been through Celebrity Launchpad and they don't know who these names are because they're not in our industry. They're in a different industry. It happens to be called television. It happens to be considered like the most powerful mass medium on the planet. And they don't know who our superstars are yet because they're not superstars in TV yet. And that's why it's so important to, to keep in mind and, and to, to have the humility that you do, Alex, which has enabled you to, to be successful in all of everything that you've done and which will undoubtedly help you to be successful on television as well. You have to just understand that, you know, the people that they know are Kim Kardashian and Donald Trump and Oprah Winfrey and, uh, and, and Diddy. And those are the players in their game. And as, as important and, and powerful and influential as the expert industry is. And, as, and all of that goes for the in information marketing industry and the internet marketing industry. As, as powerful and as influential as they are. They're not in the same league as Kim Kardashian and Oprah Winfrey and Donald Trump, who are the only people who matter on TV. So when you come to Celebrity Launchpad, you got to play the game and use all the tricks that I can teach you to get your foot in the door and start working your way up the ladder of celebrity and building it and building it and building it. You know, Ali and I were, were thinking about like the future. You know, think about the people. Like we're, uh, one day we're going to have an advanced event where it's going to be only producers from Good Morning America, The Today Show, uh, The View, Bethany, Ellen, all the biggest shows on TV. And the only people who are going to be allowed to come to that event are going to be Magic Messengers who've done lots of TV appearances. Think about that group of people, how exciting that's going to be. And I want you at that group, you know. But, you know, you, you still need to work your way up to that group. In, in terms of getting to that to that event because it, it, let's be serious I pitched the senior producer of The View after I had done 18 television appearances 18 a magic number in the Jewish religion and in Sandy Missouri's life her 18th appearance was the Today Show I had already done 18 appearances and I pitched the producer of The View and he goes wow Clint great pitch so tell me you do a lot of national television and I said, well, I've done 18 local TV appearances on my topic all across America. He goes, well, we're the number one TV show in America, so we really only have guests on our show who've done lots of national television appearances. But keep up the good work, man. I'm, I'm impressed. That's what he said. And, you know, if, in order for people to get results, like, hey, Celebrity Launchpad has been so successful because I get results for clients. People come and they get value for money that exceeds their expectations. And... That's the only way I fly, the only way I roll. So when I do the advanced event, you know you're going to get value for money. And I, and I won't allow anybody there who's not qualified to be there. So, you know, it's going to be a very powerful group. And a, a lot of the people will have already been on major shows. So keep plugging away. Let's finish yeah, I, up. I, I will tell you this, um, just for you know, everyone watching. It's, um, I came to Celebrity Launchpad. Um, just assuming I'm a piece of lint in the belly button of humanity when it comes to television. Um, and I was unassuming. I was self-deprecating. And I just came with a beginner's mind because I knew that um, I didn't know. I didn't think anyone in the room would know me. It didn't matter. In fact, I liked it um, because I'm usually left alone. I'm not giving free consultations. And secondly, um, I knew I'd have to start from scratch, which would make me a better teacher. 
Um, just going back to, if, you know, if there's any arrogance or just a trace of, you know, cockiness in, with my own tribe, it, it's just a great, you know, leveler. So I've had a blast. It, it's fun being on television. It's kind of a, it's like a 40-yard dash. You know, it's a, it's a sprint compared to what I'm used to. I'm used to this kind of stuff. But, you know, you got two, two to four minutes. And um, you have to get it down to these bite-sized chunks. And each one is, is a great improvement if you just keep thinking this is a reel. So, you know, that's what you taught me. You're a benevolent dictator. You're a nice one. So, you know, just listen to you and just move on. Right on. Right on. Let's move on with this clip. Let's see the rest. Well, first you need a niche or niche. They okay. say niche overseas mm -hmm. on what you're going to talk about. And so there's a few websites you can go to just to get an idea dummies.com, you know the dummies uh -huh. books? All the topics there, they're all uh -huh. monetizable niches. And then magazines.com, those are monetizable niches. So you get an idea to identify your topic of interest. Okay. Now we have what's called the FIT formula, as in financial uh -huh. FIT. And F stands for follow. Now here's the key. You follow social influencers, they call them, or leaders, on your topic. Okay. And what you do is on Google+, Plus, which is kind of like Facebook, only with Google, uh -huh. You plus one them, which is like liking them on Facebook. You um, uh, comment on their posts, and then you share their posts. And after 30, 60, 90 days, they get to know you. Hmm. So after a while, they go, wow, who are you and where'd yeah. you come from? And then I is invite. So you, you invite the thought leader over, and you do a hangout with them huh. for about half an hour. Okay. And then they bring their tribe with them. And then tell is the T. You tell the world. They tell the world. And you, you have a Google Hangout that is recorded automatically, and it goes into your YouTube channel. All you need is a Gmail account, and you're in business. Okay. So where does the money come into play? I, mean, I think that's got to be the big question. Well, where's this, you know, dollar, where are the dollars coming from? Well, first you develop the content, and then when the content is on video, then you do what's called repurposing it. So, you know, you transcribe it, okay. so you have it in written form. You pull the audio, so it's an audio form. And you put that free hangout that was available to the world in a membership site, a very simple membership site. Um, Facebook is a membership site. Twitter is a membership okay. site. LinkedIn, right? So you just need a username and password, and you have it available for $27 a month. If you have 40 members, that's 1000 extra dollars a month, and it just keeps going and going. Hold on. How is Facebook a membership site? Well, how is it not a membership site? It, it's the world's most valuable squeeze page, facebook.com, and if you're not a member, you can't really engage in Facebook, so that's called a membership site. Oh, oh, oh I see that. But I mean... It's uh, free. No, 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 but it, like, here's what's missing from this segment, is you need to tell the people how to make a quick, free membership site so that they can be making money. Yeah, I, I mean, um, what, I, what happened is um, when I started doing that on my pitch, they got confused, so I just left it cryptic. <laughs> and uh, so far, so good. The, the most difficult thing for me, and thanks for pointing it out, is um, not to overcomplicate it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just using analogies like Facebook, Google Plus is like Facebook, and plushing is like liking. And, you know, I'm, I'm open to suggestion from the group on how to, how to round that up. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm using LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter as the membership site concept that's you know free but membership site concept all right here are my two comments well, let's just finish up the clip and then I'll, I'll give you my main comments it takes some time to build momentum but after you do it's it's amazing because you're just adding content that was free and you're making it more valuable because you're transcribing it on your area of interest okay Alex so such great information I think people at home are you know wanting to know more where can they go uh, to learn more and get more tips well we have free training videos online okay. and they're very cool they're at hangouts rock.com nice. hangoutsrock.com thank you so much for coming in thank you your for time. having me Thanks. Ooh, you got to touch her wow all right so uh here's my comments on twice, twice. i got to shake her hand before and after and i even got a hug oh you got a hug too that well that was worth a trip to yeah. albuquerque new mexico i believe right <laughs> man all right so <laughs> All right, here's my comments. Number one, uh, television is a fast-talking medium, and you have a very uh, slow delivery. And I know that works for you on stage, but this is not stage. This is TV. And if you want to make it to bigger and bigger markets, I suggest that you speak faster. Okay. All right? That's a very... Am I, am I speaking fast enough right now? Is it too fast? No, that's good. Slow it down now? 
No, no, that ori- like that. that originally that original thing was good. I mean, TV is a fast talking okay. medium for people who know what they're talking about and talk very quickly because they understand that they only have a short amount of time to convey very important information. And if you're not thinking fast, if you're not if I'm talking too fast for you, then you got to think faster. That's basically what you have to, you know, be assuming when you're when you're talking on TV. Good so advice. Yeah, it, it, it's a trick of television. There are three tricks to convey authority and energy. Number one is to speak louder. You're speaking loud enough. The second way to convey authority is to speak faster. You cannot fake it if you're speaking fast. People who are speaking fast know exactly what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's very important to speak really quickly in addition to the third thing, which is the lack of time. So that's that's number one. My main big comment for you is I need you to speak faster. My second big comment for you is that I never, I don't remember you smiling in that whole clip. Now, you have a very pleasant look on your face. It's not that you don't look pleasant. However, if I can't see your teeth, then you're not smiling. And there's, okay. you look at the people Start watching the Today Show or Good Morning America. Like this morning, we were watching Nigella Lawson on Good Morning America. Why don't I just bring up that clip and I can show you what I'm talking about. Nigella Lawson on GMA. All right. So here is Nigella Lawson on Good Morning America. Now, what's really interesting about her is that she's an English person, right? And what is, I would do a quick imitation of an English bulldog for me right now. Right? The bottom teeth are what bulldogs, they have these prominent bottom teeth. When you feel good, no one is immune. All right, so. Emergency has more vitamin C than I want you to inches. pay interesting attention to oh. Nigella Lawson because so much of what is, what you see of her smiling is her bottom teeth yeah. while she's smiling. It's really interesting. Here we go. Trial against your two former assistants just wrapped up a few short weeks ago, and it was on public display. You went through a lot, and, and the focus turned sharply on you at times. Uh, this was a mm. criminal lawsuit against them, but at times, did you feel like you were on trial? Well, I did, but it's, you know, it's, it's one of the niceties of the English legal system that you're not allowed any uh, counsel if you're a witness. But, you know, maybe it'll change. Maybe that's good. What were those moments like on the witness stand for you? Do you know, I can't really remember exactly because you're so uh, focused on answering the questions to the best of your ability that actually you, you don't have an enormous awareness of yourself. Maybe that's a good thing. It's a good thing. And, I mean, obviously... My only desire, really, was to protect my children as much as possible, which I wasn't, alas, always possible. You know, I couldn't do, but that's what I wanted to do. And, actually, you know, since then... I've eaten a lot of chocolate, <laughs> had, uh, had a very good Christmas, and yes. I'm into the new year. Were you, I mean, speaking of, I mean, to have your All very... Right. So you see how, how the big ones use lots of teeth. And to make it on these big shows, you've got to have a lot of teeth. You'll see in my clip, we're going to review my clip from the Today Show towards the end of this broadcast. I was on with a woman named Stephanie Zeev, and Stephanie has great teeth, man. She really does. I think that's probably her best asset. When she speaks, she shows a lot of teeth. And it's very important in television. So, number one, you got to... <clears throat> I'll practice that. You, you got to deliberately get used to speaking while you're smiling. It's an acquired trait that is required for television. Okay. All right? Big you're teeth. You're good at it. I, I, at it. I'll watch you. I, you know, as good as I am, I'm not where I want to be. 58 TV appearances later, I'm still not where I want to be. And I'm still striving to get better and better at that. And then the other pointer, the other little secret for this whole thing, uh, I met Hoda Kotby, the host of the 10 a.m. hour. It's Hoda and Kathy Lee it's on the Today Show. They have their own whole hour. How would you like to have your own hour on the Today Show every day, Alex? you think you might be able to make some money off that? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, right? Okay, so Hoda's got her own hour on the Today Show. And uh, I, I took a selfie with Hoda, which I'll show you right now. And I, and I said, um, and I looked at her. And you know what really impressed me was how white her teeth were. I said, wow, yeah. great teeth, Hoda. She said, thank you. 
And oh, I don't have it on here. I already deleted it off my phone. But every one of those people, I would be, I would, you know, just like I was taking bets about Sandy Missouri being on the Today Show for Easter. I'll take bets that every single person on TV is going to zoom teeth whitening. I'd be willing to bet money. How do I know? Because I went to Zoom teeth whitening the day before I went on TV. And I'd be damned if my teeth weren't just as white as Hoda Kotb's as soon as I was done with that Zoom teeth whitening. You can get it on Groupon for as little as 129 bucks. Worth it. Every little bit that you can get that's going to give you additional advantage on television, every little trick you can use, you must use. Because these opportunities come up, like you see how hard it is to get these appearances, right? How infrequently they happen unless you're like, you know, really, really, really dedicated to it. It's going to be, you know, one here and one there and one there and then and another one the next week. Every one you got to make improvements and every one you got to do more and more to, to up your game. And part of that is getting your teeth whitened. I don't know. Let me see your teeth. They, they look pretty good. Have you already had it? I have white teeth. You just have white teeth? I, 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 sold, the world's, I sold the world's first uh, tooth whitening toothpaste called Super Smile, so I know a little bit about it. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, well, let's see those teeth more when you're talking, man. They look really nice. Uh, I just have to remember. You know, I mean, um, by, if, if my host or hostess has a, has a good smile, um, if it's an authentic compliment, I'll do that, and when he or she... He smiles back at me. It'll remind me to smile because that's one problem I had at Celebrity Launchpad. You kept you kept uh, telling me to um, what was it? Calm the fuck down or what was that? LTFU. I forget. LTFU. Yeah. Yeah. Lighten the the break up. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm all in. I'm just not used to doing that, and so um, that's something I got to improve on. And now that you're bringing that out, talk faster, show more teeth. I'm all in. Okay. Awesome. Great job, man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Anything else that you would like to offer anybody who has not yet attended Celebrity Launchpad from your perspective as a super high speaker in our industry about this opportunity? Uh, if, if you end up going to Celebrity Launchpad, because this is what I'm going to do for the guests I bring in you know, next month, because everyone needs to go to this just as a credibility booster, because it's instant credibility. Um, we have a... Hangout marketing uh, reunion in coming in fact they're uh, $1,500 tickets for VIPs and anyone who comes in can bring themselves and a buddy that's a $3,000 gift they just need to contact you it'll be in San Diego on the um, 16th 17th and 18th of February and everyone will be connected to the internet and it's just a great way to get your stuff on hangouts that's what I talk about and you were at uh, one of our masterminds, and uh, they'll be invited to that as well. So that'll be like an ethical bribe if anyone gets signed up. And that's just my gift to them so that I can teach them as well. There's, there's no selling at the event. It's all um, you know, content, and they'll be there as my guest thanks to you. Okay, so February 16, 17, and 18? 16 to right, 18. And, and, and half of the 19th in Oceanside, California, which is just north of uh, San Diego, where Sandy is actually. Uh, Sandy came... Uh, she, she'll be coming to the next one as well. We can, she's going to do the balloons at the next one. Awesome. Okay, so anybody who goes to Celebrity Launchpad is going to get two free tickets to the Google Hangout reunion where Alex Mendozian will be personally teaching you from the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. And um, is, is that the one where I'm going to be the media coach? Is that is that, that event? Yeah, I'm going to be... I'm going to be uh, pointing you out. You, you're going to be a sponsor, thanks to me. And uh, I'm going to be pointing you out. And um, you're going to have like a little uh, gathering and giving your 15 minutes on stage. And then they'll be you know, following you up as well. But we'll be doing a television and how to use different broadcast media. Because what happens is Google is your own show. So here's what I'm doing, Clint. Here's what's really exciting. And this is really thanks to you, to be honest. I know this is the you know, thank you, Clint show, but I'm going to tell you, I would have never thought of it. None of these broadcast uh, stations know a thing about Google Hangouts. So I'm actually starting to do Hangouts with them. And I've only been to three of them. And I'm already starting with Albuquerque, you know, with Ken. 
So I'm actually starting segments with those stations because they, people like the backstory. So they're, if, if they have a hit and they have a show that got a lot of um, activity, then uh, I'm going to be a Google Hangout host for them you know, in, in the, uh, the backstory, the after show. So the Hangout Marketing Reunion, you're the, the marketer of the year for, uh, you know, Blazer Kennedy. Um, we're giving out the Hangout Marketer of the Year. Anyone who's an alumnus, too, if they just contact you, if they, um, I'll get them in um, in a special way. We can make sure that they get in as well um, if they want to come. But yeah, send me, a, send me a link. So, and we got about 20 seats left. All right, so anybody who wants to go, shoot me an email, clint at clintarthur.com. And I'll forward it over to Alex. Anybody right. who's an alumni of Celebrity Launchpad or is enrolled to come to Celebrity Launchpad in the future, you're getting two tickets to this event. They're valued at $3,000, courtesy of our friend and fellow Magic Messenger, Alex Mendozzi. Thank you so much, Alex, and, and uh, really appreciate your time and having you on the webinar tonight. All right. Be well. Okay, thanks. All right, we're going to move on to the next Magic Messenger. Let's see who we have here. Uh, I want to see, let's see, Balhart, do we have, uh, do we have Dr. Samantha Madison or Dr., uh, Dr. Kim and Dr. Mario on here? Do we have either of you on here? Here's Dr. Samantha. I see Dr. Samantha. Dr. Samantha, I have you unmuted. Uh, are you like dreading this or are you okay? I'm fine. Why would I be dreading it? <laughs> All right. Well, come on video then. Let's see your beautiful face. Oh, I've been sitting in the dark, but let's see if this can work. Can you hear me? I can. I can hear you. And there you are. Are you in... Um, are you all the way in uh, like uh, the tropics Jamaica. right now? Wow. Yes, well, I'm in Jamaica. Well, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, too. I'm, uh, we're supposed to be heading back tomorrow, but the weather's supposed to be not so great. So I don't know. Maybe we'll have to stay in this paradise place for one more day. <laughs> Where would I find your most recent clip from, uh, from Emotional Mojo? Uh, it's on my website. All right. And that is... EmotionalWellnessDoctor.com? Yes, it is. Oh, is there a TV on in the background? It is. Hold on. So, Thanks. Guys, can you turn that down because they're, they're talking to me. Thanks. <laughs> this is my niece. She's come to say hello. Hello, Oops. niece. Hi. Hi. Wow, we have... I think you're our first tropical island participant in this, uh, in this webinar. So thank you very much for that <laughs> distinction. Okay, you go. All right, I want to look at this one because this was a very interesting one. Uh, we teach at Celebrity Launchpad there. There are three basic sets that you are going to be doing television shows on. The first set that you are most likely to be on is a couch. The second set that you're most likely to be on is a chair. And the third set that you're most likely to be on, which I was on on, on the Today Show, is a stool. And we're going to see this segment of Dr. Samantha on Emotional Mojo on a stool. So let's see. Welcome back to Emotional Mojo. Okay, ladies, what do Oprah, Ellen, Halle Berry, and Billy Joel all have in common? Hmm. You're going to tell us. You may not guess this, but they all suffered from depression at some point in their life. And if they can feel depressed seemingly having it all, it's no wonder so many regular folks feel the same way. And our next guest is here to help. Welcome psychologist and author of Magnify Your Brilliance, Five Keys to Emotional Freedom. Dr. Samantha, we've got you here. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. This is like the perfect time to talk about this. Why is the feeling of depression magnified over the holidays? So a lot of people think that depression rates increase um, during the holidays, but they don't act, the rates themselves don't actually increase during the holidays. But the intensity of sometimes the feelings of loneliness, oh. of wanting to withdraw, those that's what gets intensified around the holidays. Because there's that expectation that you're supposed to be with your family, you're supposed to be with other people. And be happy you the whole time. You exactly, know that, yeah. exactly. But you don't feel like that. You yeah. don't want to do that. And so it, it can feel a little bit more intense. Yeah, and, and I bet a lot of the depression also comes from people who have lost family members. Absolutely. And they're having to deal with that around right. the holidays. And yes. Some so that. It's, yeah. it's, for some people, if they've lost somebody recently. I want to stop right here and point a couple things out. Uh, there are certain colors that TV likes the best. And... One of the colors is this red color that the blonde woman is wearing on the left. TV loves that red. 
Uh, I have that same dress. You have that same dress? Well, that's great. Okay. So that's that's very good. Uh, let me just mute out a couple things here. I gotta mute out. Um, Alex has got to be muted, and then I gotta mute out. I think Fantastic Frank. What is he? Okay, good. So you got to be cognizant of what's going on here. Now, you know the emotional mojo set has a lot of blue in it, and notice the blue that they have. The blue that they have is basically the blue that the woman in the dress, in the second from the left, is wearing. Jada. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, it, it's a very successful color on TV. You see a lot of women wearing that blue. So, for example, uh, even, on that, even on that Good Morning America clip, the host on Good Morning America was wearing that blue. Now, your dress is a very nice dress, but it looks a little bit uh, muted in color. I don't think it's as successful. Uh, I don't think it's achieving what you want it to achieve. I think you've got to find either the red, you, since you already have the red, I think you need the blue, which I haven't seen you in. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, I have, that's the dress that I wore to in San Diego. Okay. All right, so you have that blue. All right, look, yes. the third color you can go with is yellow. Do you have a yellow? I do not have yellow. I don't, I don't like yellow very much. I know. All your usual things. thing is black, right? I understand that. Yeah, there you, there you are, black. Yeah, I know, you're super cool. I know, you're super cool. But, you know, this is about getting on TV and being the best you can be right. and having as much options on your sizzle reel. Yellow is another one, and pink is a third, is the fourth one. I could do pink. I, the thing is, I, and I agree with Teresa, yellow is, I have a lot of yellow in my skin, and I think it, it I don't think yellow would be a good color for me. I could do green, like a, like a, that forest, rich green and No, 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 orange, no, no, maybe. this green. Okay. Lime. Lime green. Neon green. Any green neon that's... Green. Any colors that are neon colors are the colors you want. Okay. Okay? Those are the colors. Okay. Neon colors. Red, blue, right. green, yellow, pink. Those are the colors. Okay. All right? All right, cool. Yep. All and right. then, uh, you know, we talked about you needing to rehearse and get these lines smooth. It's a, it's a new experience, experiencing the holidays without that loved one. So, yes, definitely. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting because this next question I can completely relate to because in the middle of your doctorate, you start to... Well, can, can, wait, wait, wait. Can I just stop, pause there for a second? Huh? Up my doctorate sure. And sometimes I'm like, oh my God. I'm so, we just want to be very clear that this was not the segment that we had thought they were doing. Do you remember this? That this, she only told me about this 20 minutes before we were supposed to go on? That's TV, girlfriend. That is TV. No, I know, but you're saying that I should rehearse. I didn't know what they were going to be talking about. I get it. I get it. I get it. You know, but there's got to be certain lines. And uh, you'll see me, like, I, you know, I'm going to publish my behind the scenes for me and my appearance on the Today Show. And you'll see me out there in the 30 degree weather of New York City rehearsing lines out on the street before my appearance for like 40 minutes. Because you've got to have certain lines that are going to be really, really solid. All right, continue. What's happening to me? Yes. So, you know, what was taking place with you during that time? So, uh, in my book, I talk about um, in 1997, if you remember, Princess Diana, um, she died. And yeah. it was very tragic. And I'm from England originally. So, at first, I thought that my... All right, so are you saying that this was the turning point in your life when Princess Diana died in 1997? No, I'm not saying it's the, the turning point in my life. It's saying that was when I became, I was, I realized how depressed I was. Okay, so it is a turning point because when, when Lady Di, when Princess Diana died tragically in an accident, mm -hmm. you became tremendously depressed and you thought it was just because of her. But when it persisted and persisted and persisted, I realized it, I wasn't depressed over Princess Diana. I was clinically depressed. Is that, right. is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's your turning point in your life. And it's a beautiful turning point, Samantha, because it involves a celebrity that everybody can relate to. It's very, very powerful. Now, for me, I, you, know, you know my turning point. In 2008, I was at a men's self-help meeting, and the old man on the other side of the campfire pointed at me through the yellow and orange crackling flames of the fire and said, you don't know it yet, but you're already dead. 
And I said, what are you talking about? I'm already dead. I'm the most successful guy on this team. I was a taxi driver eight years ago. Now I'm a millionaire. I was living on a little tiny boat. Now I'm living in a mansion. What do you mean? He goes, you're already dead. You just don't know it. That's my turning point story. And you see how fluid I was able to say that story? Mm -hmm. You need to be able to tell your Princess Di story exactly the same way with the same amount of power and conviction and no stumbling and no false starts and just go right through it. Okay. it it's a tremendous story involving Princess Di. Why is that so great? You can suggest to the producers that they show a picture of Princess Di and her car crash. Okay. I mean, look at the goal that you've got in terms of... <laughs> Yeah, and the car crash. I mean, nothing is more powerful than a car crash. Nothing, they want nothing more than to show, to have, a, have an excuse to show Princess Di's 15-year-old car crash on the news. There ha I mean, it involves a celebrity and it involves a car crash. People are un, un, they're, they're powerless to turn away from a car crash. Okay. Tremendous story. Okay, let's finish up. Brief reaction was normal, and then it just kept lasting longer and longer, and I was really overwrought and te very tearful and crying no, all the time. time. And besides going to, go to my to classes, classes I really didn't want to do anything else. Take it down there. And so the longer or, or it went it on, the more want. I realized this is not this is not right. This is not normal. Yeah, and that's kind of tough. Yes. I mean, from the position that you're in, to have to notice your own signs yes. of yes. your own depression. Well, and I think in some ways it's a good thing, right? When you have the, yeah. the background and you can pay attention and you can see, oh my goodness, this is this is not okay. I don't need to feel this way. Yeah. Um, and but it's kind of a, almost a double-edged sword because you also feel, oh, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be able to help people, right? And I'm no, suffering from this right. thing as well. And so right. it was really difficult. It's like you know it intellectually, but emotionally you struggle with it. Absolutely, you know that you're supposed to be able to help others. Right. But you're right. It is a double-edged sword. It is. But it can be a good thing. Absolutely. I know this sounds horrible, but if you guys and celebrities can have those feelings, I think it makes us feel a little bit better that, you know, normalize <laughs> anybody. It, right? Exactly. That, that's yeah. all it does yeah. normalize it. Absolutely. Yeah. Depression can hit anybody. And, yeah. you know, there's there's lots of... What Do you see how important this, this work of yours is on television and using celebrities? Yeah. I mean, if you and these celebrities could have depression, it's okay for us to have anybody. these feelings, right? I mean, it's so mm -hmm. very important. One that we can get in our own way as well, yeah. but it can hit anybody. It doesn't matter what you have in your life. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It can hit anybody. Having, being really attractive, having lots of money, being very successful, it doesn't exclude you from experiences. So right. let's talk about these five keys then to emotional freedom. Okay, you ladies out in your book, and let's break them down. Okay, what do you got here? What are some of the things that so free the, us? So the first one is to discover your purpose and passion. So what it is, what is it, why are you here on this planet? What is it that you want to do with your life? Okay. And having passion for the things that that purpose that you have that you want to do. A lot of people are in jobs that they don't like um, and they go to work every day and they're feeling miserable and unhappy. But if you really understand why it is that you're here. Okay, so this little piece right here, in order to strengthen, okay, Instead of just giving facts or giving examples or giving instructions, the way to illustrate points is with a story. Thank you. Is that's right, with a story. So that's what you need to do. Okay. All right. Um That you know that would be much more powerful than than just okay. giving generalities, and you get that. Okay, so just have a story for each of the it things gives that purpose I. To your okay. life and energy to your soul. And I love that because that um, makes us look for our future. And depression means we have no hope, right, for the future. Yeah, so it's just the opposite. That's right. Absolutely. Okay. So you find so, your passion, your purpose. Yes. And then the um, second key is dissolving emotional blockages. So we have an accumulation of top, what I call toxic sludge that we pick up along the way as we grow up. So we pick up a lot of negative beliefs and negative messages from different people who say things to us or relationships that we have at school, sometimes dysfunctional family members, and we carry that all along with us. And if we don't resolve all of that stuff, it's going to hold you back from shining your light and being brilliant. Wow, wow. <laughs> now, this is, I mean, this is like, you know, 
Now you have these five steps. Are they kind of like the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, or we have to achieve one before we go to the other, or can they all help us? They, are they linear? They're, they're, they're all blended together. Can we yes. go ahead and see what the other ones are? Maybe we can just like pick one of the sure. last three to chat about. We've got living fearlessly. I think fear gets in the way for a lot, a lot, of, lot of people. Yes. Um, unshakable self confidence. How do you attain So that is knowing who you are, so that no matter what other people say about you, you know who you are. So a lot of times when I work with kids who are being bullied at school, I, I, this is what I talk to them about. You know, know who you are. If they, what they're saying about you, is it true? And what often happens is there's a kernel in the child's mind that they believe that. And that's why it hurts so much. So you're challenging the negative self-talk. Self self -talk, right, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. I think this is amazing. And what was the final one? Did we get all five? Of the us? final one is owning oh, your magnificence. Let, realizing you have an internal light to shine and allowing yourself to shine that brightly. Dr. Samantha Madison, thank you. The book is called Magnify Your Brilliance, Five Keys to Emotional Freedom. It is available online now, and it sounds like something every single one of us could relate to, whether Absolutely. it's for ourselves or a friend or family member. So Definitely. thank you. Thank uh, you. I appreciate it. All right. Dr. Samantha. So um, what are your, like, you were one of the participants in that amazing mastermind that we did in Orlando. So right. um, what, what are your, you know, since then, what, what do you think about that weekend? What, what are your big takeaways from that? I mean, it was, well, it was a whole week, <laughs> practically, but it was, what was great about it was spending time with you and, and Dr. Kim and, and Dr. Mario and just, and, and engaging in all the energy and the thinking about the, the different ways to use media training and being on the different TV programs, one, to get on more shows and, and be on more national shows, but also just to think about how to use this with the business. So that was, was very powerful and lots of fun. Okay, and what about um, Stop Your Insanity? Have you done have any thinking about that? I have been thinking about that. Um, the did I? I think I bought, did buy that. I bought a whole bunch of URLs. I I don't think I got Dr. Samantha's couch. I I think I did get Stop Your Insanity. And I also I wanted to talk to you about this, but I something that came to me after um, uh, after the, that week was uh, using the phrase straight talk because one of the things that a lot of my clients like about me is that. That's who I am. So what they get from me is straight talk. I don't be behind the bush. I call, and you, you say the same thing to me because I just call it like I see it, and I'm very direct. And so I wondered if having I think I picked up straight talk, Dr. Samantha, Dr. Samantha's straight talk, you know, and having if we ever do the um, Google Hangout or whatever, just you know, different ways of looking at it. Okay, well, so, you know, I, know I, I texted you from the green room at the Today Show that they had somebody on the, on the Today Show basically doing what I was telling you to do. I want you to be doing therapy online, just not calling it therapy, right? Right, absolutely. Okay, and you may get yes. to the point where your online therapy business is so big that like Dr. Phil, you give up your doctor designation. Well, he hasn't given up his doctor designation. He's given up his license. Okay. And so where you give yeah. up your so license? I, I, okay. Right. You may you may get to that point. Now, personally, if you still like "Stop Your Insanity," I think you should go with "Stop Your Insanity" as your show name. That should be the show name. That should be the okay. Google Hangout name. That should be everything that you're doing. Your book should be called "Stop Your Insanity." Your Google Hangout should be called "Stop Your Insanity." Your members club should be called "Stop Your Insanity." You should be. Dr. Samantha, stop your insanity, Madison. <laughs> okay. So what do you, you know, what do you think about straight talk? I don't like it at all. <laughs> okay. How's that for straight talk? <laughs> that works. I, right? I think stop your insanity is much, much, but much better and really gets to, the point. gets to the point. gets to the point of what you're doing. Got it. Awesome. Well, uh, it, you know, it's time for you to to start smiling and dialing. You know, if Sandy could smile and dial, it's time for you to smile and dial. And I know that there's something big, 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 big that's in store for you, but you still have a lot of work to do. And we're going to make that happen this year because you definitely should be on the Today Show by the end of this year. That's the plan. It's, it's on my list of uh, decis decisions for the year. That, that will be one of the things that happens. Love it. Love it. My love commitments. It. 
Love it. And the people in the chat love Stop Your Insanity. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Wonderful. We, think just, uh, we couldn't use stop the insanity because as a URL, it's not available. So it's stop your insanity. That's, yeah. That's why we picked that. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Anything that you want to say to anybody who uh, has not yet attended Celebrity Launchpad? If you're, you know, going to the tough cookie, and, um, but come being open. And being ready to, to listen to what he says. He knows what he's talking about. And, you know, get bring your smile because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for energy and they're looking for smiling and for you to be interesting. And, and Clint will help you do it for sure. He's, but he's a tough cookie, so come prepared. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your time My in pleasure. Jamaica. I yes, I will. Thank you. Take care. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this little peek inside the weekly webinars that we have with the Magic Messengers. And the only way that you can get onto one of those webinars is to come to Celebrity Launchpad or our Instant TV Celebrity Training Programs here at our offices on the lot at KTLA Channel 5. We are the only media training company that does it the right way, okay? We take you into our facility here we train you in exactly what you need to do to book yourself on these TV shows. I set it up so that producers come in, you audition for these producers, and they book you on their shows. That's why I get the results. That's why everybody makes such quick progress. If you want to make progress, if you want to take your life to a much higher level, if you want to rocket your career and your personal life and your personal power, your poise, your confidence, your abilities as a speaker to a much higher level and do it really, really fast, please go check out what we've got to offer at instantlocalcelebrity.com. You can see all the variations of our training, okay? There's a home study kit, there's Instant TV Celebrity, and there's Celebrity Launchpad. So go to instantlocalcelebrity.com Check out what we have to offer because I am looking forward to seeing you on television.